Hi, I'm Danielle Hope. I'm currently playing the narrator in Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat, and I'm lucky enough to be having tea with Wilma. Firstly, I don't know how anybody couldn't have seen Joseph. It's been around for yonks. Um, but if they haven't, they're in for a treat. It's fun, it's vibrant, it's non-stop. You kind of know all of the songs, even if you don't think you do. Like when I learned this, we had a week rehearsal. Um, and when I came in to learn it, I was like, oh, I kind of know it all, but I don't, you know. And it, it's just great. And there's um, local choirs that we have on set all the time um, from all the different areas because we're touring at the moment. So Joseph is um, a biblical story and it's about, I think, essentially about brotherly love and Joseph's brothers sell him to some Ishmaelites and he gets taken off to be a slave and goes through a lot of difficulties and in the end becomes high up like the Pharaoh to the king and um, I think he's the king's assistant, yes, I think I say that as well, I should know. <laughs> Um, and then his brothers come back because they've been struggling with famine and they're like groveling to him and, and bowing down and they don't realise who he is. Um, yeah, so it's just about a respect, I think, and love and love thy neighbour and thy brother and, and all of that. I think Joseph has an amazing quality because you can bring your one-year-old or your 101-year-old grandmother or grandfather and it has a way of addressing everyone um, no matter what age and everyone always has a really good time and it's just such great fun and it's all it's all family appropriate as well so you know there's a couple of jokes that will go over the kids heads there's a couple of jokes that will go over the adults heads um, and it's really simple and, and I love that. I think when Andrew and Tim wrote it, um, it, it was Elvis's kind of like time. So they thought, who better to base the king on? And there's loads of things, especially in the Ferris story, the opening back too. There's lots of um, really subtle references to Elvis. And all of his song titles are in King of My Heart, if you can spot them. Challenge. <laughs> we have Matt Lapinskis as the Pharaoh. We've got Lloyd Daniels as Joseph. And lots of the company have been involved in the show previously and for a while and then we've got lots of new people as well I'm new this is my first time with the show and it's just it's great it's a great energy I love combining the old and new so the familiar and, and the uh, open it's great we like to think of the narrator as like the puppet master so like she's holding all of the uh, all of the strings and everyone else is kind of like dancing for her as she explains this story to the children Take five with Wilma. Oh, very exciting. Okay. Joseph has a coat of many colours. What colours would you choose if you were making your own? Oh, this is really interesting because when we started the show, I said to Lloyd as a joke, I was like, if you show me where Fawn is and where Russet is on the coat, I'll say them. If you can't, I won't. <laughs> He's yet to find it. Um, if I was making a colour, I love blue and oceany colours. It's great we're in South End at the moment, so we're near the sea. Um, so I think loads of turquoise and blue and all of that's quite peaceful. Okay. Number two. Do you have any dream roles you would like to play? Oh. Um, I like to dream big. I definitely, I always go on about Mary Poppins. Always. And Natalie next to normal. Um, but I think I'd just like to work in America. So rather than picking a role, I'm just thinking, okay, when something's right, it'll be right. What's right won't pass you by, I hope. Number three. If you could be the opposite sex for the day, what theatre role would you play? Oh my goodness. That is a great question. Chris in Miss Saigon. That's nice. Um, I always said Javert. If there was one male role in Les Mis, that would be Javert. Do I have an ultimate? Hmm. Yeah, I think that. I think Javert. He's kind of cool. That's interesting. Okay. Number four. Have you had any memorable onstage disasters? Many. <laughs> um... One of the most memorable was 
it was my mum's birthday and she came to watch over, um, The Wizard of Oz and I just sang over the rainbow and it's like 15 minutes into the show and after the show the dog did a different journey because he comes on at the end and the lead and I have to grab it and, and run and I just absolutely hit the floor like on my hands and knees but I was so delirious because of all the adrenaline that was running that I just carried on running on my hands and knees until I got off stage so I thought Danielle you've just crawled across the palladium like Judy Garland stood here and sung Somewhere of the Rainbow you just did it and then crawled off and your mum's in um, that and the Toto doing a, a whoopsie on the Elbrick Road those have got to be the two <laughs> number five last one what are your theatre etiquette do's and don'ts what annoys you as a performer or when you're in the audience there's a big thing at the moment because of the amount of technology that is around and how easy it is and I mean rather than being annoyed I think I was sad the other day um, whilst performing when I watched a parent give their child who was obviously struggling to connect an iPad during the show and I thought it's okay if they're a bit you know disconnected or but you know they'll be re-engaged but I hate that we throw technology I just don't think that's the best resort and mobile phones in theatres I think that is a big big issue as audience members as well and performers it's really hard same I was singing on my own in the, the Queens and someone got up an iPad you know how dark Les Mis is oh my goodness and it just like lit up the entire row and I was like oh hello you're not enjoying it then <laughs> so I think yeah my, my theatre do's and don'ts are just technology don't pay 50 pounds to come and watch a show and then sit on your phone like no come and enjoy it come and be engaged with us It's been a delight having tea with Wilma today. Thanks for having me. Um, please, please come join us um, in laughs and giggles and fun in Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat. We're doing a UK tour and Ireland, so we're coming to your hometown, which is wonderful. So, cheers. <laughs>